welcome everyone. In this session, I'll be talking about uh, a problem that you might face if you have a Windows 10 or Windows 11 maybe. So I just did a fresh install of Windows 10 on this. This is my new computer build that I'm building still. I've done some testing on it, um, but this is what I noticed on the system. So you can see that I have, uh, this is a one terabyte NVMe drive, but for some reason, Windows decided to stick this healthy recovery partition in between C and Y, I guess, uh, empty space there or extra space that I have on the partition. So if I wanted to resize this, I can't. There is no extend. You can shrink for sure, but you can't extend it. So uh, what do you do? I, I can create a new volume, but still it will be stuck there always. So to fix this, I, I will need to delete this. Uh, first of all, let's launch uh, command prompt as an administrator. Uh, I want to show you guys uh, what it might be needed for. I, let's do reagent C info. What is it? What's the exact command? There, reagent. So if I do reagent, reagent C slash info, uh, it says it's enabled. So what this means is that I can do a factory reset. So if I go to reset this machine, I am able to, I should be able to technically, I haven't done this. This is my first time trying it. So yeah, it did give me the option to reinstall Windows and whatnot. So it is working. Otherwise, if there was a problem, you won't get that screen. So let's, first of all, let's disable this. There's a fix for this as well. If you break it, I will probably just use that. There's a, I've created a video for that on my channel as well to fixing it. So first, uh, I want to be able to resize my C drive and extend it whenever and however right now I'm stuck I can basically just shrink it that's about it so first step is to delete uh, we can create a recovery partition later as well so let's go to disk part leave the screen over here so it will probably show up at the same time okay list disk so select disk zero. Now you're gonna do list partition. Partition. Uh, you can see the recovery partition is number four. So we are going to do a select partition. Partition four. And we're gonna do is delete partition. It should give us an error. Oh, great. Thank you, Overform. That you cannot delete it. So you have to use the flag override in that command. So delete partition. So list partition, select the partition you want to delete, and delete partition override. Uh, make sure you're deleting the right partition. For me, it's partition number four. I selected that. And you saw in here, it disappeared. So now if I do, I, I can now sh extend this if I wanted to. It will give me that option, uh, but there was no extend option. Uh, there's shrink option as well. Uh, let's see if this breaks our. Uh, so an exit disk part, and we are done with that. So we're gonna go with okay. So it's disabled. If we enable, let's see what happens. It says operation was successful. So if I refresh this, does it create something? No, it doesn't create anything. So if I try to reset now. everything it should give me an error message oh i didn't so technically that recovery partition i'm sure there's uh, some reason for it but i didn't happen to need it but if i went to any other issues you can always recreate that you can shrink this um, uh, basically or you can use a tool partition i think it's partition magic that i've used before but it might be an obsolete tool now. So you can shrink this, uh, you can use the, that tool to kind of uh, shrink it, create a recovery partition in front of it, that. But for some, for, for me, don't even need to, 
uh, reset fact reset this PC option is working just fine so if I but anyways if I wanted to reset machine I would just do a USB and do a fresh install of Windows to be honest so I just want to I just wanted to do a, this short video on how to <clears throat> kind of get rid of that pesky partition in between now I can extend this so let me just do a quick extend I don't want to extend all the way, so I'm going to just give it 98 gigabytes. Yeah, so it extended and I can shrink and all the stuff, all the fancy stuff. So let me shrink it back before I forget. So we did a 98, so let's do on 65. Uh, that's, I think that's suitable enough for me. At least for my needs so there you go that's how you will fix that uh, recovery partition stuck in between so yeah i am looking at the recording right here and uh, you can see you don't see my mouse but it says uh, it's hardest zero and partition number four so it automatically switched over to my partition number three so i don't need to create partition because uh, you can see right here that it has moved over to partition 3 uh, my video that's showing right here it says partition 4 which is what it was originally so if I go back you see I will show you guys so this right here if we do the disk part uh, this is the information it says partition number 4 let's see let's see i want to go to that there uh, partition number four is the recovery partition which is what we are deleting in this video in this session so you don't need that i guess you don't need to create uh, i'm going to just leave it as such but if for some reason you need to recreate your recovery partition uh i will post a link from microsoft site itself uh, how to do um the partition recovery as well if you wanted to go back to it but that is it i just i was making i just wanted to make sure that you know you like you don't end up running into an issue either with deleting it or if you need it down the road but i don't need to recover i don't need to create it again it was just a recovery partition so i don't think you need it for anything else but that's it that's all i want to do kind of share with you guys thanks a lot guys thanks for watching if you like this content Please hit the subscribe button. Much appreciated. Thanks a lot. Take care. Stay safe.